Sorry, family coach. Listen, this video, we're going to be talking about why we should not be putting our dogs in a crate. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to start out by saying I absolutely 100% do think that dogs should be crate trained. They should be able to be in a crate calmly and comfortably. The crate should be big enough for your dog to completely stand up and turn around in, and they should be calm and comfortable inside of the crate. And there are ways to train that positively. In fact, I am I have a crate training series inside of my online course that teaches you how to properly crate train your dog using positive reinforcement. But what I'm noticing a lot, and I mean a lot on social media, is that it's like the, the go-to tool for not dealing with dogs' behavior problems. So if somebody is like, oh, my dog is chewing up the couch, or oh, my dog is peeing in the house, or oh my goodness, my dog barks, on, uh, barks and jumps on people, or my dog is doing this, my dog is doing that, it's like the number one response I see people saying online is crate train your dog. Well, guess what? Crate training is amazing and it does help teach impulse control to your dog if done properly. However, it's not a crutch. It is not something that ever should be used for punishment, which is ultimately what you're doing. If you take somebody's advice, if you say, I'm having trouble uh, with my dog doing X, and somebody says, well, put your dog in a crate, and that's what you do, then you're punishing your dog, which is not helping your dog learn anything at all. Your dog is not learning if you're punishing them. What we should be doing is training what we want our dogs to do instead. So, uh, or, or properly potty training our dogs. Um, I think a crate can be a really great thing for a dog, even if you're doing potty training, it can be a really great thing for a dog in general. It should be a safe space for your dog. It is not a timeout tool. It is not for punishment. Not to say that timeouts can't be had inside of the crate, but they should not have a negative connotation towards them. Anytime your dog is going in their crate, there should be calmness and uh, your dog should be very confident to go in the crate and happy to go in the crate because it's their safe space. It's not a punishment zone. So, you know, this video is gonna be pretty short because I absolutely am for crate training a dog as long as you are using positive reinforcement and properly tra training your dog to be calm and um, calm and happy inside of the crate. But, it is in no way a tool or a, um, a crutch or or should it be punishment for your dog. If you're having any behavioral issues with your dog, then, then you need to train your dog what you expect them to do instead uh, of whatever that behavior is that you're not happy about. So no. That's, that's why I'm saying in this video, don't put your dog in the crate because if you're having a behavioral issue, the answer is not to just stuff your dog in a crate. It is not the answer. It is not teaching your dog anything. It is not helping you or your dog. All it is doing is isolating your dog from... <laughs> Kim is chasing a fly. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Kimberly, I don't think you're gonna win, but it's super cute. She was just chasing a fly. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna cut that or leave that in because now I'm all red and flushed and if I cut it out, you're gonna be wondering why. <laughs> and she's going back to the door trying to look for it again. I think it flew away from the door. Anyway, um, crates are not punishment and they are not tools or crutches for you to uh, not deal with your dog. Um, I, I have told all of my client, clients this and anybody that asks me to teach them or help them with their dog's crate training, it is the number one thing I say. I am happy to help teach you and your dog crate training um, how, to, how, how to show your dog to be happy and calm and confident in their safe space, which is what the crate is. However, this is not 
a crutch for you to ignore your dog's behavior problems and to just lock them away because you don't want to deal with them. So with that said, I know this is a really short video, but I really wanted to get this off of my chest that it is not, it's not, stop using the crate as punishment. Stop using the crate because you don't want to deal with whatever your dog is going through. If your dog is going through something, it is our job, it is our responsibility to help them get through it and show them what we want them to be doing instead. Set your dog up for success. Set your dog up to win. If your dog is doing something and you're not happy about it, it's because you haven't shown them what you want them to be doing instead. They're just trying to survive. They're just trying, they're going to do whatever they think makes you the happiest. And if you don't show them what you want them to be doing, they're just grabbing at straws, picking behavior, saying, what about this? What about this? I'm, this is going to make me happy. And if you're not going to show me something to do instead, then I'm going to do what makes me happy. So it teach your dog what you want them to be doing. And don't rely on the crate as a punishment or a crutch or a I don't want to deal with my dog tool because so many people are doing that. And it honestly breaks my heart for these dogs because they don't even know what they've done wrong because they're not being taught what they should be doing instead. All they know is that crate is punishment and that should never be, the crate should be a safe space for your dog. So with that, if you are interested in crate training, do check out the link in the description of this video that leads to my online training course. Uh, and part of that training course is crate training. And yeah, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you completely understand what I'm saying and you have somebody that needs to hear this message, share this video with them. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel um, and help, help me grow my channel on YouTube. I would really appreciate it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.